Another unlicensed group home in Central Texas is under investigation after officials found a bed bug infestation inside, among other things. Emergency crews arrived at Zoe's safe place this morning. They say several people needed medical treatment after also finding lice and not enough beds or food. Since the facility is not licensed, it's up to the city to issue any violations. They told the owners they have seven days to fix the problems. Group homes and boarding houses rest in a gray area of regulation. Some of them get licensed by the state, but some don't have to. KXAN investigator Kevin Schwaller shows why an Austin City Council member is pushing for some changes. Austin police records show emergency crews called out to the Burnett Road address nearly 70 times since the beginning of the year. I spoke with Austin City Council member Ora Houston. She heads up the Health and Human Services Committee. I asked if unregulated group homes are a problem in Austin. There has been an issue with unregulated homes in this city for the past seven years. These homes are taking care of some of the most vulnerable people in our communities. What are you and the council going to do to make sure that they stay safe and are protected? I worked for the Department of Mental Health Mental Retardation and I was appalled when I started this campaign to find out that people who are very vulnerable were living in substandard housing, had no supervision, no food sometimes, basic human values that we as a city espouse, they've got to extend to our most vulnerable citizens and we intend to do that. In 2009, uh, the state of Texas passed some model standards so that municipalities could regulate these unregulated homes. The city of Austin just has never done that. Why hasn't the city done that? Well, we're trying to figure that out. Uh, we have been working very closely with the uh, code department. We've been working with the fire department, EMS, and police because they serve these homes directly. Getting something through city government takes time. I also asked if the city plans to do anything in the short term. Houston says city leaders plan to meet with the code department in September. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN, investigates. Councilmember Houston says many of the homes operate outside of local oversight. Still, the city technically requires licenses for some places. The code department says right now there are 34 licensed boarding homes in Austin.